Guys, and I'm going to demonstrate the non-invasive stability margin assessment for the copper mountain analyzers using the one port technique. So here I got a one port uh, analyzer connected up to a PicoTest P2100 one port probe. And if I zoom in on that, you can see the probe is in a test point. That's the output of a voltage reference. It's REF03 with a couple of ceramic capacitors. The power cable sitting over here, so it's not connected. And if we look at the impedance, there's no peak at the low frequency end, uh, but there are peaks at the high frequency end, and that's without power applied, so those are passive. I'm going to display, and I'm going to put that uh, data to memory, so now we saved the off state. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in the power here. Just connect my USB cable. You can see the light went on. And now when we look over here, you can see that with the power off, uh, there was no peak and when we plugged in the power cable. Now there's this big peak that shows up. And so that is due to the control loop. And that's actually the impedance peak that we want to measure. So now I got to bring up the non-invasive soft uh, stability margin tool. There it is connected to the VNA and it's connected. Use S11 because this is a one port measurement. Measure stability margin and you can see it's going to rerun those sweeps. It's going to auto scale it and it's going to place markers at the biggest peak. Now this one we saw was there where the power was on or off, so we know that one's not stability. This one's only there when the power is on, so we know that one is stability. So let's just grab the markers over there and I'm going to do it kind of quick. I probably could place them a little bit more accurately, but um, I just want to kind of show you how easy this is to do. And there it is that tells us that the phase margin of this voltage reference with ceramic caps is 5.7 degrees. If you want to save that value, we can save it to a text file. Just click save value and we're done. That's how simple it is to do the one port NISM impedance with the copper mountain ionizer.